Rio de Janeiro has seen overall renovation in the past several years, with public traffic upgraded and stadiums built or rebuilt in preparation for the Olympic and Paralympic Games to be held for the first time in South America. Tudo é motivo de preocupação porque eu acho são 60 áreas funcionais. Nós temos mais de 50 instalações, sejam de competição ou não. Então tudo nós temos que ter uma atenção e a atenção mais especial será sempre em termos de transporte. Esse é o que tem no mundo inteiro em qualquer Jogos Olímpicos não será diferente. Urban mobility has seen progress on quality and quantity with the rail network improved on the ground and underground, and hundreds of cars added to the coal cap industry. The train on the ground integrates the entire transport system of the city through express lanes. Meanwhile, the metro system with the latest addition of Line 4 connects all the main locations of the city with the leading venue of the games. Airport Top Job M gets a facelift too. A South Pier is constructed as large as 100,000 square meters with 26 new boarding bridges. Except for the traffic, the Olympic venues always call for special attention because they are the basis for realizing all the sports. According to official sources, all the arenas are ready and tested, bringing considerable change to the city and serving as a shot in the arm for its tourism industry. Sem dúvida, este é o maior evento do planeta, o evento mais complexo, de maior diversidade, de maiores surpresas, de maiores alegrias e de maiores tristezas para aqueles que vencerem ou que perderem.